Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. It's another beautiful bullish day in the crypto market. Bitcoin broke through $24,000 and we are headed to $25,000. Before we go further, we are closely approaching 50,000 subscribers. So please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Guys, look at this beautiful, beautiful green candle here. This is a thing of beauty, guys. I love these green candles, these $1,000 moves, uh, green candles in the bull market. Now, as always, got to keep it balanced, right? Nothing goes up in a straight line. Expect a correction. But Bitcoin, uh, a couple hours ago, did break through $24,000. So, of course, it's going to test this price point. We have a pullback. It's at $23,803 right now. So, you know, expect it to go a bit sideways, maybe test this price point, right? It's building higher highs and higher lows. It's going to build those support levels and keep going up. And the Bitcoin stock to flow model, of course, is predicting a $100,000 price point. And this is uh, essentially based on supply and demand economics. We know that Bitcoin having cuts the supply and we are seeing record breaking demand from institutional investors. For example, $51 billion global investment firm Jefferies is selling their gold for Bitcoin. And this is a trend we've been seeing lately. A lot of money leaving gold ETFs and going into Bitcoin. And Jefferies ain't no joke. Look at their website, Jefferies Financial Group. Jefferies is a diversified financial services company engaged in investment banking and capital markets, asset management, and direct investment. Investing, excuse me. So you are seeing some of the largest, biggest traditional financial players jumping into crypto, guys. Very bullish for those of us who have been here a long time, gone through those crazy bear markets, right? It's all going to pay off, guys. Let me give you the details. A top executive at Jeffrey says the billion-dollar investment firm is cutting some gold from its portfolio in favor of Bitcoin. As Bitcoin continues to consolidate above the $20,000 range, the global head of equity strategy at Jeffrey's, Christopher Wood, says the company is purchasing the top cryptocurrency at the expense of precious metal. Wow, someone call Peter Schiff and make sure he's okay. The firm, with $51 billion in assets under management as Q3 2020, as of Q3 2020, excuse me, is converting some of its gold holdings in its long only global portfolio for US dollar denominated pension funds, which was created in 2002, according to the business standard. Wood says he plans to increase exposure to cryptocurrency in his portfolio if the market sees a correction after its recent pump. Guys, let me read that for you. This is how you have to think now. Wood says he plans to increase his exposure to cryptocurrency in his port in this portfolio if the market sees a correction after its recent pump. Buy the dips, buy the lows, sell the highs. Look at it macro level. He's not looking to buy it at twenty thousand dollars and then sell it at twenty five. These guys are holding for a hundred thousand dollars. That's why I always point you to models like the stock to flow model, guys. And let me read you here um, a quote. The 50% weight in physical gold bullion in the portfolio will be reduced for the first time in several years by five percentage points with the money invested in Bitcoin. If there is a big drag down or drawdown in Bitcoin from the current level after the historic breakout above the 20,000 level, the intention will be to add to this position. <laughs> Guys, uh, man, I, I hope you are soaking this up and I hope this is resonating with you. And I'm not saying that to pull your chain or yank your chain or whatever the idiom you know you want to use here. These guys are not playing around. These are companies that existed before crypto. They have millions, billions on their assets, on their management, and they are their job is they have a good rate of return for their investors, right, and into their portfolio. So this is bullish news, and we are seeing more and more of them are coming out of the woodwork. We're seeing all the billionaire hedge funds talking about, hey, I'm going to allocate a billion dollars to Bitcoin and Ethereum and do this and that, and Grayscale seeing record-breaking demand. Here's another example, guys. We talked about roofer investment. Well. We're seeing Coinbase is actually facilitating a lot of the buys here. Coinbase did it for MicroStrategy. Well, they did it. They executed the 440, excuse me, $745 million Bitcoin buy for roofer investment. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right? 
When Roofer Investment wanted Bitcoin in November, it turned to One River Digital, which went to Coinbase to hit the buy button on a purchase now worth over $745 million, Roofer Representative Jonathan Atkins say, said. Uh, wow, guys. I mean, my goodness, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. You're going to see more and more of these folks jumping in, and we are headed to the big leagues. You know, the big news this week was Coinbase is going to be doing an IPO, and I talked about how great this is for the market, the exposure, the merging of the traditional uh, financial world with crypto, and the further validation of the crypto market, and they're going to have Goldman Sachs leading the IPO. And I plan to invest in Coinbase. I, I, you know, love or hate it. I'm just looking at the opportunity to make money here because it's the, it has the brand. It's the largest crypto exchange in the United States. It's the first uh, major brand crypto company that's going to do an IPO. So it has a lot of visibility and awareness. And I think they're going to get a lot of money here, guys. Especially notice when they're doing this, and it it tells you what's coming. If they're planning to do this in 2021, that means we're going to be at the height of the bull market in 2021. These things are all planned. Logic and reason will tell you this, right? You want to do this not in a bear market when the prices are low. You want to do it in a bull market. You drive more value, more awareness, more talk, more valuation, all of that stuff, right? Very smart on their part. And uh, I think that this right here is a signal of what is to come, my friends. Of what is to come just think of it from a business standpoint put your business thinking cap on and why they're doing this you don't do this when the market is boring or not doing anything you do it when you know all-time highs are coming so exciting times and you know what bitcoin doesn't even care about the news that we heard yesterday from mnuchin and the fincen now i did a video yesterday if you haven't seen it definitely check it out i think in the long run this is not going to hurt the market this is actually good for the market it's not good for our personal freedoms. Don't get me wrong now. And I don't like the rule. I wish it wasn't happening. But reality of it is we, we can't stop it, right? It is what it is. It's like taxes. Now, I said in order for the big more big money to come in, these regulations have to be in place. So it's going to open the floodgates even further for these big investment firms because they're not going to let this thing go to you know trillions of dollars worth uh, in a market um, and not have taxation, not have the, the KYC AML, right? Once again, I'm not saying I want that or I like that. I'm just saying what the governments and the world is doing, right? The world, world governments, essentially. So I hope you understand that. And I hope you understand why I'm thinking like that. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But Bitcoin don't care. This ain't stopping the market, guys. Um, they want to do KYC AML. It, it, guess what? That's what the big players are used to. That's what they have in the traditional financial world. So they don't care. That actually helps them because it makes it makes sure that the government's keeping an eye on the bad actors and all that. But we know it's some of it is about taxation and taking away our freedoms, right? Uh, let's be real. So, guys. I am bullish as hell. I hope you're bullish as well. Look at this news. I mean, my goodness. And look at the, the like I said, this green candle right here. <laughs> oh, man, guys, we are the lucky ones here. And I, I mean that um, I'm not saying that to motivate myself or to validate myself. But look, the facts are all around us. All the puzzle pieces are coming together. We are indeed on the side of smart money. We are on the side of the hedge funds, the wealthy investors who are getting in early, buying the lows, while 99% of the world is not paying attention. Oh, but they will be paying attention when, watch, they wake up in the morning and they see Bitcoin over $50,000, the media is going crazy, and they will FOMO to hell in. I've talked about marketing, crypto marketing coming. You're going to see billboards, uh, you know, ads and commercials on the radio and TV, online. All of that's coming. Super Bowl ads, all of that stuff, guys. That's what's coming. So be patient. Look at the market from a macro level, right? Nothing goes up in a straight line. Remember, market cycles, bull, bear, and accumulation phases. They are repeating, and this is going to be one of the uh, bull runs, and there's going to be more, right? Now, it, obviously, the ones that are coming in the future, like maybe 2025 and all of that, the four-year cycles with the having are not going to be as strong, right? That's why when you're here early, you you have the potential to make significant returns because you're getting in at the lows. So I have plans to not sell all my crypto, but to hold long term. I've talked about it on this channel. I'll cash out some to pay off debt, pay off my mortgage, um, to put my money to work, right? Lend some of my crypto so I can earn interest 
and I'm saving the rest, you know, handing it down to my daughter and all that, right? She's going to have some Bitcoin. It's going to be in a ledger and ain't going to be touched for years, probably 10, 15 years, right? I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. You don't have to do that. I, that's just my outlook. I'm looking at this thing long term, of course, taking profits along the way. But also I know, hey, 2025 and beyond, as the world becomes more digital, CBDCs, Guess what's going to be the value of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and, and XRP then? Yeah. You can, you can only imagine, right? It will work, these prices are going to be tiny blips on the on this chart. The same way the 2013-2014 bull run was a tiny blip on the chart compared to 2017. 2017 will become a tiny blip as we head to 100000 and 2025, 500000 And I think Bitcoin could hit a million dollars in 10 years, guys. That is realistic. If this if this trend continues here, right, and I think it will, uh, we are going to see prices that is going to blow people's minds. It's going to be crazy. So, pat yourself on the back, right? You are here early, guys. But as always, have perspective, understand market cycles, and be patient. So important. So important. If you dumped in March, right? Look at what you would be missing, right? Um, well, I should say here on the chart here. But when everything crashed and people got scared, if they didn't understand market cycles, guess what? The market's going to rebound eventually, right? Uh, it, it happens. Markets have uh, bubbles. All markets have bubbles. Stocks, real estate, everything. And then they correct. And then guess what? They go back up. If you were chicken and you got scared and you sold your Amazon stock and your Google stock and whatever back in 2000, man, did you lose out of money, right? But zoom out, guys. Same thing is happening here. All markets move in cycles, bubbles, and all that. That doesn't mean it's not going to keep going up. That doesn't mean it's not real. Um, that's the FUD that they tried to put out about Bitcoin and crypto, saying, oh, 2017 was a bubble. But but they're just you know pr painting it as a bubble as though it's, it, you know, it's just BS. It's nothing. Like There's no substance to it. But guess what? There's substance to it. There was substance to Amazon back in 2000. And eventually that played out, right? It grew because that's how the world was changing. The internet was growing, commerce on the internet. Now money is changing. Money is going digital. The world is changing. And if you only look at it from the lens of, oh, it's a bubble, it's magic internet money, and you don't actually do your research, you're going to miss out on the next Amazon. You're going to miss out on the next Google. That is what's happening here. And I hope you guys get that. Um, it's it's so important to understand these factors and, and these market, uh, market principles, guys. So, guys, what do you think? Could we see 25,000 soon and end the year on 25,000? Would love to hear your thoughts. Give me your price predictions in the comment section below. Share this video, and I'll talk to you guys later.